Welcome back, guys. Um, uh, last talk we had, I have no idea what these things are going to be called if they're even successful at any point, but may I just keep doing it regardless because I still kind of like doing that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess it does matter. doesn't matter. I don't know. I just <laughs> I like expressing myself in certain ways and talking to whatever this might be, you robots, whatever, uh, aliens. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, last time I would talk about AX and stuff and a little experience here and there that I had there. But this time around, I want to talk about something, uh, Pokemon, okay? Pokemon Go and what it has been doing to everyone, okay? So, we're going to with GX this time. But, and then I, this time our deck is going to be Glad from 2007, I think? 2007, 2008? And that's a pretty darn strong deck. I think I should have just showed you guys a profile. Um, I'll do that next episode with the other cards and uh, yeah. So uh, we, let's go and play. Oh, and you know how about this? Every time I have this video thing in the comments, tell me who do you want me to play against? Because I'm pretty much. I think I have mostly if anything. Everybody unlocked already. I think so. And just tell me who do you want, want me to play against in the GX, whatever. It doesn't matter if they're strong or not. It's just a fun little experience for everyone, really. Uh, for what I can tell. Like, see this? These guys right here. So just tell me who you want me to play. And if you guys don't say anything, then I'll just I'll play, I'll, I'll choose someone. Uh, let's go with Zane, because he's a freaking powerhouse. Um, oh, Partner's Deck. That's the one that I gave him. Okay, cool. Um, so we have Glads from back then with... I think it was triple oil oppression, triple cold wave, heavy storm, giant true nade, brain control, all these freaking cards that were legal at that time, and three best yari when they pretty recently came out in the GX era, uh, the Botarius, triple Laquari, one Marmelo, stuff like that. So this is Glad's is one of my favorite archetypes of all time. If I could play archety uh, archetypes, either, Ikuzo. Duel. But if I could play this like GBs at a consistent manner right now, I would do that. I would just play GBs nonstop. I used to do that even when they were like neutered way back without the Bessiari right now. And it was back in the Plant Synchro era. And Glad st still had a solid matchup against them. I think I am going to Trunade. Yes. See, Trunade, man. That thing is so powerful. It's just get your cards back to your hand. But yeah, I used to do good against Plants and other gladiator beasts at the same time because I like technical dice and this is one of them I am going to tag out and I don't I guess I'll just go for I hope it doesn't die that's what I'm that's what I hope it doesn't die if not it's even it's so good because I have cold wave for next turn and I could just attack with Lakari or something and just attack and pop everything but like I was saying Pokemon Go okay Pokemon Go has been so qu what is he doing okay we have to activate this I think yes Pokemon has been so crazy I didn't even remember that game was coming out or that app uh, until like one night when I came back from work and I was like oh it's Pokemon Go okay cool and I just started it right uh, I was like whatever it looks whatever and stuff and then as soon as I started going into like walking outside and stuff the next day or two days after that's when it like I started getting everything and I was like damn man this game this game is pretty addicting and the funny thing about it is that Pokemon Go right now doesn't have the whole like trading with people or battling other people and stuff or like seeing what trainers are in the area that kind of thing like GPS in that in that aspect and even so everyone's in love with it everyone's just freaking going to Santa Monica because uh, I can't set anything can I nope and they're going to all these places that have all these Pokestops which are the ones that have like a blue blue uh, icon on them and you spin them to get like Pokeballs items anything Ooh, this is this has to be game okay I'll just summon an attack but um yeah everybody's been doing that uh, I'm barely level 15 and and, me, and mainly because my cousin and I have been recently going, like last, last week we started going to, uh, no this week actually, we started going to like Pokestops and stuff, like places that have a lot of Pokestops and 
around California area and at night in the, like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning just for freaky Pokemon. Uh, so there you go, we beat him like nothing. Um, Clats 2007 or whatever. Let's choose another one. And so we've been doing that. And I was only like level 7 like a week ago and then I'm like 15. I'll just play this guy, whoever that is. Hot fan service. Hello? What is that? I have to find out. <laughs> what the heck? Um, but yeah, uh, we're playing a lot of Pokemon Go. It's tough going to the gyms and stuff because they're too powerful. And even joining them is kind of tough as well. Because you have to like level them up in prestige. And it's so crazy. The game itself, when you're playing it, even if you're like a like a old school veteran Pokemon player or like Pokemon advocate or whatever, it's very convoluted. So it doesn't give you any like startup tips mainly like it doesn't do anything like of that sort for you and it's like what the heck it's does it tell you how to like get the experience points what's this what's that it's it's very weird so you have to like resort to youtube most of the time because oh god that sucks damn it okay whatever i think i'm screwed um but yeah it's kind of weird that they did that no like tutorials or anything i am going to cold wave please because um sorry Ah, I want a Bissiari, damn it. Cold Wave. Alright, um... Damn, double Cold Wave on one hand, that's way too broken. Kind of reminds me of, uh... When Rescue Cat was a thing back then, and it was just Cold Wave, and... Go Hanlei. Um, let's pop something. But, um, yeah, that's what would happen. Um, like, I was a 7, and then, like, a week later, I'm, like, 15. And it's pretty crazy, because even Pokemon Go now... There's a lot of places, like, for example, this theater my, near my workplace, they do, like, 10% off if you're, like, uh, level 15, level 10 to 15 or something, and then, like, 50% off for the ticket if you were, like, 16 and above, so I was like, damn, that's freaking crazy, dude, like, I can't believe Pokemon Go is doing so much, like, stuff, all this, it's just insanity, man, and that's pretty cool at the same time, but at the same time, it's, like, it's it's not like it's like everybody just finally decided to go walk around because of that game but not because they would want to before it's just like what is going on but then there's the thing where there's all these crimes and deaths and findings that people find because of the game now and stuff and it's like what the heck is going on oh no i think he has a torrential or something i hope not Okay, let's do this and dump the bestie. The bestie. The best friend. Um, nothing, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, the, the recent one with the body. Uh, like the, the girl that found the body. And then the one YouTube guy, uh, Aiden's life, I think. I just gave him a shout out just right now for, the, for some reason. He seems cool. Uh, I'm not saying anything, but he seems cool. And uh, he has footage of him uh, getting his phone stolen and his camera. What is going on? What is that? Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Those guys are freaking broken, man. Those things are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, and then his thing got stolen, but some people say it could be scripted. Who knows if it isn't. Uh, either or, he got his stuff back, if anything. And good for him. Uh, and uh, that's what happens nowadays. Me sometimes, like, now as a recent, I haven't really kept my phone outside anymore. Just because I'm like, oh, I guess I came from this ride and I don't need to keep it out anymore because I've been using it the whole day and I'm like, I kind of get tired of it. What is going on? Hello? I have to destroy... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I can't destroy anything. Duh. Freaking Darius. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, I haven't doing that. I haven't been doing that often. I've been level 15 since like two or three days ago. I haven't really like... Oh, God damn it. Fudge. <laughs> what the heck? I was supposed to go to... Um, Heraclinos, gosh darn it, okay, whatever, but yeah, I haven't been playing it much, uh, I kind of get bored after a while, a little bit, here and there, I'm level 15, I could, if I wanted to, I could be outside right now, but gosh darn it, man, but the heat right now, it's way crazy, so it makes me not want to go anywhere, unless I'm going out with my girlfriend or a friend or something, and if not, then I'm just like, I'm staying home, I am not, I'm being bored, but I'm still like right now making YouTube video, uh, recording for you guys, so, I guess something good comes from it. Okay, he's almost out. And, and like, I, like, I've gotten my, what is it? 
Oh no, no, no. Oh, well, well, I guess. I don't know. And like my rarest and probably strongest Pokemon would be uh, my Frida Kahlo, you know, my my Electabuzz. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, and then we'll go like my Pinks? No, no, no. My strongest one is like Arcanine because I evolved it with the whole like process where you you get super experience points with the lucky egg and the evolving of the uh, hatching of the eggs, the evolving of the Pokemans. At the same time, in the 30 minutes, I got like 50, over 15,000 points and I still had like 10 or 15 minutes left, I think. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> and then like the last 10 minutes went to waste because I had nothing else to uh, go capture or anything. But I leveled up from 14 and a half to like 15 and a half in under 10, 15 minutes, like I said. And it's freaking crazy. Uh, and that's how I got to 15 and I'm like over a fourth. Like, almost going to 16, but who knows when I'm going to, like, level that up, because I don't think I'm playing that anytime soon. But there you go, guys. <laughs> there goes whatever this is called. I have no idea. I'm just, like, talking about random crap. I'm pretty sure everybody else does it, but oh well. I mean, it's my perspective, my point of view. So, uh, if you guys like it, remember to leave a like so I can know if you guys enjoy these or not. And I probably said that other one that this it's not like if you guys don't like it or something. Obviously, it matters, because gives you more motivation to do the thing so there you go you go um and comment on who would you like to for me to play next on the thingy uh just name a name and if i find it there i'll look i'll play that computer or whatever so latest guys have a very nice day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye